All available experts, please report to room A9. Hey everyone, Ecto here. Today I'm going to go over the module Paperweights. This is basically your classic scales puzzle, where you have to find out how to put these on either side to make an equal weight on each side. However, you don't know the weights of any of these. And also, there has to be four on either side. As the intended solution, there may be a solution where there's uneven on both sides. But I'll be presenting a method that you can use so you can find the four each method. So let's so like let's put the black one on here and then select the right one and put the cyan on here. This five is the weight difference, and if you can see the black one is currently heavier than the cyan one. So we know that the cyan one is five whatever the unit is lighter than the black one. So Let's have the black one as our reference one. And note down the differences for each of them. So this will be negative five. Positive 55 since that the blue is greater than the, the black weight. <laughs> Plus two. Plus thirty-three. Emergency cleared. All personnel, please return to your stations. Plus seventeen. Minus thirty. And minus nine. So what I do here now is I add up all of these differences. <laughs> we get 90. Divide this by 2, we get 45. This is our target number. You could visualize this as if, say this was represented as K, this would be k minus 5, this would be k plus 55. So if you write it as an equation, once you've added 4 on both sides, you would have 4k plus a constant has to be equal to the same 4k plus the, the same constant. So the weight of the black one doesn't actually matter here. We're just going to be matching the c's here. So let's see if we can make it to 45 with these numbers. 55 seems like a good start. And then we just use subtracting. We could subtract. We're going to be trying to subtract 10 here. So we could subtract 5. We have 50. This was slightly more difficult than I thought it would be. Let's try the other one then. 33 plus 17 seems like a good start. We have 50. So we had, and then we have a minus 5. That is one of our sides, including the 0 of the black one. Meaning that our other one will be whatever's left, so it'll be 55, plus 2, minus 3, minus 9, which also equals 45. So this is our final solution. So just to remind ourselves, this was the cyan one, this was the blue one, 
this is the green one, and so on. Orange, red, white, and magenta. You can see the order actually stays the same. So now let's create our solution. Doesn't matter which way around you do it. So the back doesn't have to be on this side, it could be on that side. If you figured out the four one before the three one. So let's select this side and pick the black one. We always need the plus 33 one, so that's the orange one. The plus 17 one, which was the red one. And the minus 5 one, which was the cyan one. Let's select the, the right hand side and put the rest on here. As you can see, this re slowly reduces down until we get to zero. And we have a self module because both sides are equal in weight. Let's do another example. So again, let's use black as our reference and compare all of them again. Remember, if it tips to the right, it's going to be positive. If it tips to the left, it's going to be negative. So plus four. Plus 30. Minus 7. Minus 6. Plus 11. Minus 13. And minus 1. Eighteen. So our target is going to be nine. So let's try get the thirty down to nine. So let's subtract thirteen. We get seventeen. So can we add one from here? Doesn't seem like we can. So let's try seven. So what else do we need to take off of this? We need minus three, minus two. We need minus five. We doesn't see we could get minus five, so let's go with minus six. So we need minus six from this. Um let's try I'm not clearly seeing where to get from the thirty one. I might have been being blind though. <laughs> so Let's start with 11 instead. So since we haven't got any numbers to go directly there, I assume we probably have to overshoot it here. So let's subtract 6. Oh wait, hold on. Never mind. We tried to get to 9, not 18. It's not funny. <laughs> So let's try the 30 again. So let's subtract the 13. So we need, now need to subtract 8, which is minus 7 minus 1. Apologies for that. So our right hand side will be the 30, which is the blue one. We'll have the minus 7, which is the green one. The minus one, which was the magenta one, and the minus thirteen, which was the white one, and this side will have the rest. And that's the module. So 
it's just a recap on the method. Add all of the differences compared to a reference. Say, the black one. Half the difference... Half the total difference is going to be your target number. And then try and get to that number using the differences. Remember that one of them will use four differences. The other one will use the remaining three. Unless you count the black one as a difference of zero from itself. Anyway, hopefully this this makes paperweights slightly more simpler to solve for you. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.